We've known it was coming for months. Good Samaritan Hospital is officially no more, closing its doors for the final time just after midnight. The closing has been in the works for months, but now other hospitals in the area are beginning to see an impact. Two News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald live at the now closed Good Sam with our continuing coverage. Yeah, Brooke, as of 12.01, the, all the entrances here at Good Sam are all sealed up. You can't really miss them. But about three miles away from Good Sam, there is another hospital that doesn't belong to the Premier Health Network. And they said they've been preparing for this ever since that announcement came down. This is the former administrative section of Grandview Hospital, owned and operated by Kettering Health Network. Becky Lewis, the president of Grandview, says they've poured $38 million into upgrading the hospital. What we did immediately was plan to double the size of our emergency room, going from 25 beds to 50, which is the same size that Good Samaritan was. Lewis says they want to fill the void in West Dayton. Still, this community isn't letting up. Protesters like Reverend Rockney Carter are giving a voice to the voiceless. And try to make it to Grandview. They'll try to make it to Miami Valley. It's not a guarantee that you will make it. I want the community to know this is their hospital. This is their community. And if they don't fight for it, they'll close up everything on this corridor if you're not careful. Premier's decision to close Good Sam was in part to avoid duplication of services with its nearby Miami Valley Hospital. According to Grandview Hospital, Good Sam's closure steadily brought more patients through their doors. But last Thursday is when those numbers really jumped. The day they closed the emergency room, we got like an immediate bolus of about 40 patients. And today, the same thing. It's very busy. There isn't just more patients here. Grandview has hired more than 100 medical personnel from Good Sam. And what touched me was that they truly feel a mission to serve the patients they've been taking care of for decades. A lot of them wanted to stay until the hospital finally closed uh, because they felt such loyalty. Grandview expects to have their new emergency room finished sometime in November. We'll be sure to let you know when that happens. Live in Dayton, Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you.